What's crack? It's Vangelina Scov, and today we have a lot to get through because, as you probably know, Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein have been having a sort of feud online, a back and forth, since Trisha left Frenemies. And since then, the situation has gotten worse and worse and worse, and it has just become, for lack of a better word, it's just a mess. And there are now very, very serious allegations going on, specifically about lies that Trisha may have told and about Trisha's fiance Moses. It really seems like an argument that started off between two friends who were always kind of troubled in their friendship before that has spiraled into something which is now just really serious, really concerning and going on for a worryingly long amount of time. Before we actually do talk about that though, I'd really appreciate if you would please subscribe to this channel. And if you think you're subscribed already, just do me a favor, do a little recheck, just to be sure that you are subscribed because sometimes YouTube likes to unsubscribe people for absolutely no reason. And while you're down there, I'd really appreciate it if you'd please turn on all notifications, not personalized, with the little bell button right beside the subscribe button. And I'm just gonna say, somebody did tell me the other day, I think it was in a comment or in a live stream, that their notifications had been changed from all to personalized. So you might wanna check that as well. Not pressuring you, but I'd appreciate it. Well, now that you've done all that, which I'm assuming you have done, uh, we can talk about the topic. So there are two main parts that we need to talk about in this video, and I'm gonna try and condense it down as much as I possibly can for you. First thing that we need to talk about is between Trisha and Ethan and what was said there. So when Trisha was on Frenemies, there was this story told of a teacher whose name I won't mention now, who had allegedly essayed Trisha. Now, two days ago, Ethan Klein posted this on Twitter. It has come to my attention that Trisha in episode number 17 of Frenemies called out a teacher by name and accused him of essaying her during school. She claimed that this teacher was arrested and served time for possession of CP. She also claimed that someone else had come forward to say he essayed them as well. Upon further review, these claims seem to contradict available evidence. Because of the nature of these claims against this specific teacher and the stress it's causing to the family, I have decided to unlist the episode for now until Trisha can better illuminate the situation. I want to emphasize that I do not believe Trisha would lie about something like this, so I wanted to give her the opportunity to clarify. But in the meantime, because the teacher has passed on and cannot defend himself, I feel obligated to remove it now. So that is one very important piece of information that this teacher that Trisha was talking about in the episode at the time of filming the episode had passed away. Now it doesn't specify in this actual post which evidence doesn't hold up that Ethan is talking about. However, some people have said that this teacher, because the name was said, we know the name of the teacher, this teacher was never actually arrested and there was nobody else that came forward. Now, does this mean for sure that Trisha lied about this? No, and Ethan's saying that as well, that he's just giving Trisha a chance to clarify what's actually going on. But the thing is, a lot of people are now just saying that Trisha is lying, which for me personally, I don't want to believe that Trisha is lying about this. I don't ever want to assume that somebody is lying and there is obviously situations where people can lie about it in one situation or tell the truth in others or get information mixed up, especially when it comes to traumatic events like this. However, as it stands right now, Trisha has not clarified. So for me, and I would urge you as well, I'm gonna wait till more evidence becomes available before I decide what I actually think about this. But you yourself are entitled to your own opinion. And I know most of you watching this will believe that Trisha is lying because as it stands right now, most of the evidence seems to point to her at least not telling the full truth. Especially considering as well, people have dug up videos of Trisha in the past saying that she loved her teachers, they were the only people that cared about her and she was actually attracted to her teachers, but nothing at least ever happened. People have been really going after Trisha for this and apparently some people have been contacting their sponsors trying to get sponsors removed and things like that. And Trisha did share screenshots of a conversation with Ethan and Ela. Your whole Reddit is saying I lied about being essayed, but believe Leave all victims, right? Why can't you just leave this alone? Like it really is too far. Your accusations do not line up with evidence. I'm still waiting for you to clarify. And Trisha does not clarify. Much later in the conversation though, there is a little bit more said and I won't read the whole message because some of it does have to do with the situation with Moses, which we are gonna get into in a minute. But for now, just to read the bit about this whole situation, I was essayed as a child and the family had no idea. And now they're getting harassed because you guys are allowing the subreddit to post his name. 
I'm happy the frenemies was taken down. I was told inaccurate information as I often misspoke on situations that I just believed without researching. I had reported this as a teenager. There were reports of it. So that so far is the full clarification that we actually have from Trisha. There has been no video clarification or anything like that or anything besides these messages. Okay, so for more context of what's going on now and why this whole situation has just completely blown up, um, we need to talk about Moses and the stuff that's going on with him. Now, there is a lot of backstory that leads up to the situation and I'm not going to go into all of it because it's just a lot. And honestly, there's no need to talk about all of it just to get an idea of what's happening currently. But there were a lot of accusations going on about things Moses may have done to ex-girlfriends in the past. And people had been accusing Moses of cheating on Trisha, specifically with one person called Daphne. Now Moses claims that this is false, that he didn't cheat on Trisha because he had gotten together with Daphne in February of 2020, which was about a month before him and Trisha actually got together. Still though, Daphne has made a much more serious accusation against Moses, claiming that Moses had stealthed her when they were together that time. Now I'm not gonna explain the definition of what that means because it's just icky and it's really horrible. If you don't know what that means, you can just do a quick Google search, it'll come up for you. But it's nasty, it's a horrible thing, and it is a form of essay. In most places though, as far as I know, it's not actually illegal, but there are people who are trying to change that and get it to be made illegal. Now, Moses did respond to some of the stuff to do with Daphne. However, he did not actually respond specifically to the stealthing accusations, just to the accusations that he was still seeing her when he was a Trisha. Basically to do this, he just showed screenshots of DMs between him and Daphne, which was basically her saying that she had feelings for him and him saying that he was not interested in a relationship with her. But it does look like he's saying that what she's saying isn't true, without outright specifying what isn't true. Recently, there has been a serious allegation made against me that is not true. I have chosen to not give attention to it out of respect for this person's well-being, but now the lies have gone too far. I met this person only once in real life on February 14th to 15th of 2020. She's not my ex, she was never my girlfriend. I'm showing these texts to show the timelines of what actually happened. I made it clear I didn't want to lead her on and that it's nobody's fault. She continued to ask me to meet up with her and have a relationship with her after I made it clear I didn't feel we were a match. She got upset when me and Trisha started dating well after we stopped talking and continued to plead with me to date her and not Trisha. It's been a year and a half of this person spreading lies, but now this false accusation cannot be ignored. Please read this thread for text messages when we're communicating. And we've already discussed what was said in the text. Now, clearly, Trisha does not believe these accusations. However, and very strangely, it looks like Ethan and Hila do. And if you're not aware, Hila is actually Moses' sister. Because in the messages that Trisha shared that we spoke about earlier, there is some conversation to do with the accusations against Moses. Ethan asks, how do you know he didn't do it? If you guys ever texted me, he didn't. There's texts. How do you know? He has so many. I saw all the texts. Wow, you guys know him. And Ethan says, I thought I did. I don't know him. I believe the victim. He also says at one point, shame on you both, shame. And Hila says, my mom is having a mental breakdown and my whole family is basically broken down. Welcome to the club. You're not the only victim here. Start taking responsibility for your own actions and stop blaming us for everything that's happening to you. And same for Moses, who is not in this chat, but I'm sure he is reading it. Trisha also posted a series of videos, um, very upset about everything that's happening, basically just crying and I'll just play it for you. Please. I am pleading. I am pleading. I texted. I texted you and Aunt Hila. Please stop. Stop talking about us. I said I've read it both. Moses is workplaces are being told he's a <laughs> my mom is getting the cops called on her for something that they know nothing about before calling the cops. <laughs> I just begged them to please stop. I stopped. I apologize. I asked what they want. And they told me it's fucking too little too late. And I'm like, it's not. It's going to be too late when you just push, 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 shaking. <laughs> I am shaking i don't want to monetize this i've been acting like everything is okay but there are just so much wrong going on right now they're doing not only they're nothing to stop but they have no sympathy no remorse this is not random people this is people they know they're just begging if someone asks me to stop talking 
talking about them. I would stop talking about them. Never once has Ethan and Hila reach out to me about any of this. They never once asked me to stop and now I'm just pleading. And their response is, you don't get to tell us what to do. I'm fucking just... I'm fucking having an actual breakdown. <laughs> my past <laughs> help me mark using been lying they don't believe they don't believe moses they believe all except for <laughs> no i'm a liar and i'm demanded to make a statement <laughs> i'm just letting everything go i can see it i'm so conceited i said i'm sorry i said i'm done i'm so done if this is not me anything it's that i'm anything that we say they don't care they literally don't care they just want it's just it's just crazy they said it's too little too late i said it's not i'm calling the truth i'm asking for it to stop a fucking stop all of this starts from their entry step right if they think they control and monitor they're posting some about my own my dad and just stop please stop King shame on you both Why was and everyone is reminding me of that person's name and telling me to apologize. Oh my god. This person. Oh my god. Just falsely. And so falsely accused. And he's saying shame. Shame on what? Is it believe all of it? Or believe all of it? Except for trash. Like, make up your mind. Oh my god. I'm so inside myself. How's no one going to have compassion? No one. And it's a human being, another random human being, for someone that they're in a family and they know. Oh my god, where's the f passion? I stop! I stop! <laughs> a lot of people are saying that she's fake crying, and I don't want to make that assumption. Um, I don't think it's fair for me to make that assumption. I don't know if that's what's happening. But as it stands, most people do not have any sympathy for her. The thing is, though, with all of this going on, it's all so serious and it all just stopped being drama a really long time ago. This is not internet drama. This is actual serious things that are happening to people and have happened to people that are all being brought up on the internet. And a point that I keep seeing brought up is that this should be handled in private. And it does seem like a situation that it should be handled in private, but some parts of it seem like they can't be handled in private because they're about public figures or things public figures have said in the public. But the other thing is it's very weird because I think we've reached a point as a society, I hate saying stuff like that, it makes me sound really pretentious, but we've reached a point where everything is online now. Absolutely everything that anybody does has to be brought online. And I don't know, you know what I do know? I'm pretty sure that this was emphasized a lot by the goings on of the last year and a half because the majority of us were living our lives completely online. And although a year and a half in the grand scheme of things is not actually a long time, it is long enough to get you dependent on the internet for your social interactions or to retrain you for this is how you communicate online. It's enough time to rewire your brain. So it's just all really bizarre. It's all, it's just a mess. And I don't think there's any way for anybody to win in this situation. Let me know in the comments though what you think about everything that we've talked about today. And if you don't want to talk about that because it is quite serious, then let me know in the comments, do you prefer still or sparkling water? Because comments help my engagement. Anyway, like I said at the start of the video, please subscribe, turn on notifications, like, comment, share, and you can also follow me on social media. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.